Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the Turgo. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the Turgo. In today's video, we will talk about the sum of the interior angles of a polygon. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So, let, I have here three different polygons. We have here a triangle, a square, and this kind of polygon. We know that the sum of the interior angles of these three polygons are all equal to 180 degrees if you have a triangle. And if you have this kind of figure, which is the square, we know that we have here four right angles. So if we multiply 90 degrees by 4, that will give you 360 degrees as the sum of the interior angles of the square. What if meron tayo ngayon dito mas maraming sides? That's why, itulong sa inyo yung topic natin about the sum of the interior angles of a polygon using a formula. And here's the formula for the sum of the interior angles. Interior angles which is equal to 180 degrees or simply, pwede natin gawin to yung sum of interior angles natin can be written as S na lang to denote the sum of the interior angles so we can have S is equal to 180 degrees times N minus 2 wherein your S again is the sum of the interior angles while the N is the number of sides of a given point. Now for you to understand well how to use this formula, S is equal to 180 times N minus 2, we will solve this problem. Find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of each polygon. So this time, uh, these polygons have sides which are which is greater than 3. So let's say for example, we have here pentagon. We know that in a pentagon, this one is a 5-sided polygon, meaning your N is equal to 5. So using this formula, you have your S is equal to 180 degrees times 5 minus 2. So, so paano pa nangyari yan? Your N is equal to 5. That's why we can substitute 5 directly to the variable N in this formula. So this is 180 times 5 minus 2. And simplifying this one, this is S is equal to 180 degrees times 3. Okay? Simplifying this one, S is equal to 180 times 3. That will give you 540 degrees. Therefore, if this is your answer, the sum of the interior angles inside a pentagon is equivalent to 540 degrees. So let's move on with item number 2, octagon. This one is an 8-sided polygon, meaning your N is equal to 5. N is equal to 5. Ah, sorry. That's, that's not 5. This is 8. Octagon. Again, 8-sided polygon. S is equal to degrees times 8 minus 2. You have here 180 degrees times 6. Simplifying this one, 6 times 180 degrees 180 degrees times 6, 0, 48. So carry 4. This is 6 times 1. That will give you 10. So total of 1,080 degrees. The sum of the interior angles of a regular octagon is equal to 180 degrees. Using this formula. And lastly, for number 3, the decagon. Again, the decagon. The decagon has 12 sides, meaning your N is equal to 12. And using this formula, you have your S is equal to 180 degrees times 12 minus 10. 12 minus 2. This is S is equal to 180 degrees times 10. And multiplying 180 degrees by 10, the sum is equal to 1,800 degrees. Ito nga yung sagot natin if you will be asked for the sum of the interior angles of a uh, dodecagon. 
in the next part of our video, we will reverse the process. We're in, we will, I, I will give you uh, the sum of the interior angles and we will try to figure out ilang sides ang meron sila. Now in this part of the video, we'll, we will reverse the process. We're in, kanina, ang ginawa natin, given the number of sides of a regular, regular polygon, we calculated the sum of the interior angles. And this time, ang gagawin naman natin is find the number of sides of the regular polygon when the sum of the measures of its interior angles is given. Again, given yung sum of the interior angles, and we will try to figure out what is the number of sides of this given polygon. So let's start with number one. The sum of the interior angles is equal to 1,260. Again, 1,260. So dito, using the same formula, S or sum of the interior angles is equal to 180 degrees times M minus Two. So, to calculate this one or to find the number of sides na, na meron yung given na to, you need to substitute 1,260 degrees to S. So, it will become 1,260 degrees is equal to 180 degrees times N minus 2. Okay, N minus 2. And first thing yung gagawin ko dito, yung iba, ginagawa nila, they're using distributive property first, but in my part, I'll be using a division property of equality wherein I will divide 180 degrees. The whole equation by 180 degrees. Okay? And we can cancel out this one. We can cancel out this one. It will give us N minus 2. And for the other side of the of the equation, 1260 degrees divided by 180 degrees. That is equivalent to 7. Okay, that is 7. And to solve for n, I will add both sides by 2. n minus 2 plus 2 for us to eliminate negative 2 is equal to 7 plus 2. So, this one is equal to 0. Your n is equal to 9. Meaning, this given sum of the angle is, uh, belongs to a non -agon. Meaning, the polygon has 9 sides. So again, n is equal to 9. So let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, we are given the sum of 1980. So your s is equal to 180 degrees times n minus 2. Your s is equal to 1980 degrees. Yeah. It's equal to 180 degrees times n minus 2. So we will divide it by 180 degrees. Ito rin po. Cancel, cancel. It will give you, pag tinibayad nyo to, it will give you 11. 1980 degrees divided by 180 degrees is 11. That is equal to n minus 2. So to eliminate negative 2 again, we will add both sides by 2. mag both sides by 2. So 11 plus 2. Simplifying this one is 0. Your n is equal to 30. Meaning, um, this one is uh, nonagon ha, nonagon. Ito naman, since yung ating n is 13, ito ay 13 gone. Ibig sabihin po, 13-sided polygon. Next, let's have the last one. We have 1,620. This is the interior angle of the polygon. Same formula, S is equal to 180 degrees times n minus 2. So, substitute natin dito sa S natin. This is 1,620 degrees is equal to 180 degrees times n minus 2. Divide both sides by 180 degrees. And cancel, cancel. This is n minus 2 alone. And for this one, para makuha natin to, 1,620 degrees divided by 180 degrees, that is equal to 9. So para matanggal dito negative 2 natin or minus 2, mag-add tayo both sides by 2. Add by 2, so 9 plus 2. Your n is equal to 11. At yung sagot natin. Meaning siya ay ang decagon. It is a polygon with 11 sides. So I hope na natutunan niyo yung konsepto natin uh, with regards to some of the interior angles of a polygon. Una, given yung uh, given the formula, hinarap natin kung kung ano yung sum ng interior angles sa isang given polygon. And in the next part of our video, we reverse the process wherein Given naman yung sum of the interior angles, 
we try to calculate for the number of signs. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!